Assuredly, he will pass through the sea of distress and strike down the waves of the sea, and all the depths of the Nile will dry up, and the pride of Assyria will be brought down, and the scepter of Egypt will depart. The Book of Zechariah, chapter 10, verse 11. River Jordan remains an essential destination for Christian pilgrims who visit the various holy sites along its banks and participate in baptismal ceremonies. And something terrifying is happening in River Jordan. Join us as we embark on a fascinating journey to uncover the secrets of this ancient river. Does this mean something ominous is cooking, or is it just another prophecy being fulfilled? The Jordan River, once a mighty force of nature, now lies nearly lifeless. Its meagre flow is but a mere trickle, a mere shadow of its former self, with less than 10% of its historical average. Even its main tributary, the Yarmouk River, has been reduced to mere trickle. And now, recent discoveries made in the area have sparked a renewed interest and excitement among archaeologists and researchers alike. These groundbreaking discoveries have exceeded even the wildest dreams of those who have come before, revealing a wealth of information and shedding new light on the past. And the latest discovery made in the dried-up Jordan River is no exception. The Jordan River's importance is not limited to Christianity alone. Both the Old and New Testaments are filled with references to the river and the events that took place in its vicinity. The river was the site of several pivotal moments in the history of Christianity. For example, it was where John the Baptist began his public ministry and where countless others have been baptized over the centuries. According to Joshua chapter 3 verses 9 and 10, God commanded the Israelites to stand in the Jordan River when they reached its waters. The significance of this cannot be overstated, and there are those who dismiss it entirely, those who believe it at face value and those who want to dig deeper. The Dead Sea Scrolls, found in 11 caves near Kerbet Qumran, on the northwestern shores of the Dead Sea between 1947 and 1956, are nothing short of a miraculous discovery. They provide the earliest evidence of the biblical text in the world and date back approximately 2,000 years, from the 3rd century BCE to the 1st century CE. The scrolls consist of around 950 different manuscripts of various lengths, falling into three major categories, biblical, apocryphal and sectarian. But the surprises don't end there. Archaeologists may have found evidence of the biblical story of Exodus in ancient ruins near the River Jordan, named Kerbet el Mastara. This could change our understanding of the history of the region forever. The site, located just five miles north of Jericho, has been dated to the Early Iron Age, which coincides with the traditional timeline associated with the Israelites' arrival. Although no further scrolls have been discovered, researchers continue to test data in the search for more evidence of the Exodus story. As if that weren't enough, bone remains have been found in the region that suggests humans hunted the extinct cattle species Oryx as far back as 60,000 years ago. The excavations at the site reveal that the hunters had limited tools and mainly used spear tips and cutting tools for hunting. But here's the kicker, the hunters appear to have gotten up close and personal with their prey, risking injury or death. These findings challenge previous assumptions about ancient hunting techniques and reveal that humans were the predators of the region even though the animals they hunted were larger and potentially more dangerous. This is truly a revelation that sheds a light on the evolution of ancient human societies and their relationship with the natural world. In a groundbreaking revelation, researchers have uncovered evidence of the crucial role that fish played in the diet and economic stability of prehistoric humans, who lived in the Levant region more than 780,000 years ago. The discovery was made through the examination of fish teeth found in the now dry part of the Jordan River, which suggests that the fish were slow cooked at a specific temperature that melted the rest of the skeleton before they were eaten. This discovery also sheds light on the extinction of fish species in the ancient Hula Lake over time. Doesn't that remind you of the incident of Sabbath? It was a sobering reminder of the importance of unearthing and preserving the secrets of our past, lest we lose thousands of years of history forever. Every day brings a new revelation from River Jordan and puts a stamp on the authenticity of the Bible. If the Bible is true about the past, then it wouldn't be wrong to say that these prophecies are going to be fulfilled too. This means that the drying up of the Jordan River marks the beginning of something important. The believers need to be prepared for the coming times and need to mend their actions.